Fishing can be a high adrenaline adventure or a lazy relaxing pastime. It all depends on what kind of person you are. Yep, the opportunities to catch the next big fish are endless. And you can start your fishing journey in a tiny pond or out on the open ocean. There's no doubt about it. Anything could happen when you go fishing. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right, let's go, buddy. Let's go. From sharks jumping on the deck of small fishing boats to giant fish being wrestled in shallow waters. These are the 20 most shocking fishing moments in the world. <laughs> Mako Shark Are you ready for a wild fishing story? Well, hold on to your hats because this one is a doozy. It all started on a calm day out at sea when a group of anglers set out on their fishing expedition, hoping to catch something big. Little did they know they were in for more than they bargained for. As they were reeling in their catch, they suddenly heard a loud splash and felt a huge impact. Before they could even comprehend what was happening, a massive mako shark had jumped right into their boat. The anglers were understandably shocked, but they quickly sprang into action to avoid the thrashing shark. One of the fishermen even managed to get a photo of the shark inside the boat, jaws wide open and teeth bared. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the incident, and the shark was eventually released back into the ocean unharmed. But the experience left anglers with the tale to tell for years to come. Who knew that fishing could be such an adrenaline rush? The mako shark is known for its incredible jumping abilities, which it uses to catch prey, such as tuna and swordfish. But to jump into a boat? That's a new one. This story just goes to show you that you never know what could happen when you're out in the great outdoors. So the next time you're planning on a fishing trip, be sure to buckle up and brace yourself for anything. Who knows, you might even just end up with a story that's crazier than this one. And now it's time for our open discussion. These fishermen start freaking out when they see their horrifying catch. Yes, this freaky image has been spooking the fishing community, and we can totally see why. This weird fishy creature defies all logical explanations. Is it a new species washed up on the beach, or is there more to this photograph than meets the eye? Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Just use the hashtag open discussion to join the conversation. Fishing at the Mackerel Island If you're a fishing enthusiast looking for a truly unforgettable experience, then you should definitely consider planning a trip to Mackerel Island in Western Australia. These islands located just off the coast of Onslow are known for their stunning natural beauty and abundant fishing opportunities. The Mackerel Islands offer a wide range of fishing experiences, from deep sea fishing for game fish like marlin, to reef fishing for snapper and coral trout. The islands are also home to a variety of other fish species, including Spanish mackerel, tuna, and trevally. No matter what type of fishing you prefer, there's something for everyone on Mackerel Islands. One of the best things about fishing on Mackerel Islands is the chance to experience the natural beauty of the area. The islands are surrounded by crystal clear waters and pristine coral reefs, and there are plenty of opportunities to see marine wildlife like dolphins, turtles, and even whales. Fishing All Fish Ahoy there, mateys! If you're looking for a wild adventure on the open seas, catching sailfish, kingfish, and mahi-mahi fish on a small boat is a thrilling experience that will put your angling skills to the test. Sailfish, also known as billfish, are the kings of the ocean with their massive size and tenacious fighting spirit. These beauties can weigh up to a whopping 200 pounds and will take you on a wild ride when hooked. To catch them, you'll need to troll with live bait or artificial lures. And when you finally hook one, get ready for a long and intense battle. Kingfish, also known as king mackerel, are speedy predators that can reach up to 50 pounds. They are not only a favorite among anglers, but also a favorite among the taste buds thanks to their delicious meat. To reel in a kingfish, you'll need to use live bait or lures and fish in areas where they like to feed. Once you feel that tug on the line, it's a race to set the hook and start reeling before they escape your grasp. Mahi-mahi fish, also known as dolphin fish or dorado, are a feast for both the eyes and the belly. These colorful creatures are known for their acrobatic jumps and fast runs, making them a challenge to catch. To hook one, you'll need to troll with artificial lures or live bait 
and keep that line tight as they put up a strong fight. So if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime, grab your gear and hit the high seas to catch these magnificent game fish. Tanzania Extreme Fishing Tanzania is home to some of the best fishing destinations in the world. And if you're looking for an extreme fishing experience, then Tanzania Extreme Fishing is the way to go. This charter company offers some of the most thrilling and adrenaline-fueled fishing trips around, and their recent weekend trip is a perfect example of what they have to offer. The weekend trip began early on a Saturday morning, as the group set out from the marina in search of some of Tanzania's most prized fish. The first day was spent trolling for sailfish, and the group was not disappointed. They caught several sailfish, with the largest weighing in at over 100 pounds. These fish are known for their incredible speed and acrobatic jumps, and the group was left breathless as they watched these impressive fish leap out of the water. The second day of the trip was even more intense as the group set out to catch some of Tanzania's largest game fish. They began by dropping lines down to the bottom of the ocean, where they hoped to catch some massive grouper and snapper, and catch them they did. The group pulled up some truly massive fish with the largest grouper weighing in at over 200 pounds. But the real highlight of the trip came later in the day, when the group hooked into a massive black marlin. The fish is one of the most prized catches in the world of sport fishing, and it's easy to see why. The marlin put up an incredible fight, leaping out of the water and towing the boat for miles. But in the end, the group managed to bring the fish aboard, where it was weighed and released back into the water. Shark Fishing Catching a shark on the beach is not for the faint of heart. It requires a strong will, the right equipment, and the knowledge to handle potentially dangerous situations. Sharks can be found in various waters around the world, and if you're lucky enough to catch one, it's sure to be a thrilling experience. First things first, make sure you have the appropriate gear for shark fishing. You'll need a sturdy fishing rod with a heavy-duty reel and strong fishing line, as well as a leader and hook specifically designed for shark fishing. It's also important to wear protective gloves and have a pair of pliers to safely remove the hook. Once you have the gear, it's time to find the right spot on the beach to cast your line. Look for areas with a drop-off or deep water close to shore, as these are prime spots for sharks. Be sure to stay alert and keep an eye on the water, as sharks can be difficult to spot and may swim closer to shore than you'd expect. When you feel a bite on your line, the adrenaline will kick in. It's important to remain calm and let the shark tire itself out before attempting to reel it in. If the shark is too large, you may need to call for assistance to safely remove it from the water. Handling a shark on the beach requires caution and respect for the animal. Keep the shark wet and supported while you remove the hook, and avoid touching its eyes or gills. It's also important to be aware of the potential danger and to never turn your back on the shark. You don't want to become the shark's prey after all. 30 Stone Catfish Hold on to your fishing rods, folks, because this British angler just reeled in one of the world's biggest catfish. Dean McEwen, a 36-year-old oil rig engineer from Refenshire in Scotland, had the fight of his life while fishing in Thailand's Palm Tree Lagoon fishery. The monster Mekong catfish gave Dean a run for his money, and it took him an unbelievable hour and a half to finally bring the beast to the surface. This catfish was a true heavyweight, measuring a whopping 7 feet in length and tipping the scales at an incredible 420 pounds. Dean had to call in reinforcements when it was time to haul the beast aboard his boat. Three strong men had to help heave it into a large net so that they could record its weight and measurements. Dean knew he was in for a challenge as soon as he felt the power of this freshwater fighting fish. But with his expertise and determination, he was able to bring the beast to the shore. He even remarked, There's really nothing you can do with these fish except take the back line whenever you get a chance, usually when the fish changes direction. Tim Webb, a British expat who runs the fishery with his wife, couldn't believe what he was seeing. He declared this was not only the biggest catfish in the lake, but probably in all of Thailand. In fact, it's definitely the largest catfish caught by a Brit. The Mekong Giant Catfish is no joke, it's the official freshwater heavyweight champion of the world. Massive Swordfish This fearless fishing crew out of Key West, Florida snagged a monster of a catch that weighed in at a whopping 757 pounds. Captain Nick Stanchik and his talented anglers Ed and Chris battled the behemoth swordfish for nearly 8 hours before reeling it in. 
This fish was so colossal they needed a crane to hoist it onto the dock. Captain Nick recalls that the swordfish was a true heavyweight champ, making it nearly impossible to move from the ocean's depths. The crew fought tooth and nail utilizing every ounce of their strength and skill to keep the line taut and prevent losing their prized catch. Finally, after an epic battle, the swordfish was caught and brought to the dock where it stunned onlookers with its massive size. Measuring over 14 feet long, this beauty was surely one for the record books. The swordfish is a sought after game fish for its speed and agility, but for this crew, the sheer size of their catch was enough to make them feel like champions. As a popular seafood dish, swordfish meat fetches high prices in restaurants and fish markets. However, for the Key West crew, the thrill of catching such a massive fish was reward enough. Captain Nick praised his team's hard work and dedication, which paid off in his unforgettable fishing experience. Three friends haul in three massive catfish. This story will have you hooked. Three friends from Missouri, USA recently went on a fishing trip that they will never forget. They managed to reel in three gargantuan catfish from the mighty Missouri River, weighing in at over 200 pounds in total. Talk about a catch of a lifetime. These fishing buddies have been casting their lines together for more than 10 years, but they had never caught anything quite like this before. It took hours of patience, sweat, and hard work to haul in these colossal creatures. We knew we were in for a long haul when we first hooked one of the fish. It was so strong and powerful that it almost pulled me into the river," recounted David, one of the proud fishermen. The fish were so huge that they were measured over three feet long each, and the trio had to use all their might to bring them in. They continued to fish throughout the night, hoping to snag even more massive catches. We were having a blast out on the river, swapping stories and jokes, said Mike, one of the pals. But catching these fish was the icing on the cake. We couldn't believe the size of them. Of course, they didn't keep their fish for dinner or mount them on their walls like trophies. These friends are true conservationists and love their fishing sport too much to harm nature. So after snapping a few photos to show off their prized catch, they gently released the fish back into the river, giving them a chance to continue growing and thriving in their natural habitat. Now, this triumphant trio's fish tale is the talk of the town, inspiring others to take up fishing and explore the beauty of the Missouri River. Who knows, maybe you'll be the next lucky angler to hook a big one, huge sturgeon. We've got a tale that'll make your jaw drop. A band of brave anglers out in British Columbia were minding their own business, casting their lines into the river, when they felt a tug like never before. They knew they had something big on the line, but they never expected what they were about to reel in. Lo and behold, it was an enormous white sturgeon, tipping the scales at a whopping 600 pounds and stretching a stunning 9 feet long. These anglers were no rookies, mind you, but even they were stunned by the sheer size of the prehistoric beast they just hooked. It was no easy feat, and they battled for full two hours to bring that sturgeon to shore. Working together like a well-oiled machine, they finally wrangled that bad boy into the riverbank. These fish can live for up to 100 years and grow over 10 feet long. They're strong as an ox and one of the most popular catches for anglers around the world. But these anglers knew better than to harm such a magnificent creature. They handled the sturgeon with the utmost of care, making sure to keep it in the water as much as possible, so as to not harm the fish. After measuring and photographing their enormous trophy, these anglers did the right thing and released it back into the river. White sturgeon are a protected species in British Columbia, and these anglers follow strict guidelines to make sure the sturgeon population stays healthy for generations to come. 832 pound bluefin tuna. You won't believe the catch that these Floridian fishermen have landed. A whopping 832 pound bluefin tuna, the biggest ever caught in the state. Talk about reeling in a monster catch. The crew aboard the Play and Hooky charter boat worked together to haul in the 13 foot long tuna after a six hour battle. And what a battle it was. The angler who hooked the fish, Cole Long, said the fight was intense and grueling. But with some strategic breaks and teamwork, they managed to keep the fish from getting away. The crew used a harness to distribute the weight of the fish and keep Cole from being pulled overboard. It was a real team effort that finally brought the massive tuna to the surface. Bluefin tuna are considered one of the most prized fish in the world for their size and taste. And this catch is truly remarkable. 
Known for their strength and endurance, bluefin tuna can put up quite a fight when caught. But these fishermen were up to the challenge and proved that the bluefin tuna population is thriving in Florida waters. After taking pictures to document their impressive catch, the crew released the tuna back into the water to ensure its survival. They even tagged the fish with a tracking device, which will allow researchers to study its movements and learn more about this amazing species. Now, that's what we call a real adventure. Marlin on the beach. Johnny Brooks just had the adventure of a lifetime. This guy was out on a beach fishing trip with his buddies at Queenland's Fraser Island, hoping to reel in a good catch. But little did he know he was about to hook into something truly massive. As he cast his line, Brooks felt a tug on the other end. But this was no ordinary tug, this was a monster fish, and it was putting up a fight that would leave even the most seasoned anglers quivering in their boots. The fish turned out to be a black marlin, weighing in at a whopping 1,044 pounds and measuring over 14 feet in length. Now that's one big fish. But Brooks and his team weren't going to let this catch slip away. Oh no, they were in it to win it. They fought that marlin for over three hours, the adrenaline pumping as they battled the beast. The marlin put on an incredible show leaping out of the water repeatedly and showing off why it's one of the most impressive game fish in the world. It was a true David and Goliath battle, with Brooks and his team using all their strength and skill to reel in the behemoth of a fish. But they finally did it. They managed to haul the black marlin onto the beach, where they quickly took measurements and photos to capture the moment. But they didn't keep the fish. Oh no, they released the magnificent creature back into the ocean where it belonged. And can you blame them? After all, this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience that they'll never forget. Basking Shark It looks like some fishing trawler in southern Australia hit the jackpot. They were out there doing their thing trying to catch a different species of shark, when they suddenly caught a massive 20-foot-long basking shark. Can you imagine their shock and awe when they saw this big guy at the end of their line? This basking shark was a real heavyweight, tipping the scales at around 1,300 kilograms. And get this, it was estimated to be a whopping 20 feet long. That's like having a small bus on the end of your fishing rod. The crew couldn't believe their luck. Basking sharks are the second largest species of shark, second only to the mighty whale shark. And while they're harmless to humans, their size can still make even the bravest of souls a little jittery. But wait, there's more. Basking sharks are considered valuable these days, with their population declining in some parts of the world due to overfishing and accidental bycatch. So after the crew took all the necessary measurements and samples, they did the right thing and released the shark back into the water. Kudos to them for being responsible fishermen. Researchers were over the moon to have this rare opportunity to learn more about the basking shark species. There's limited data available on their behavior and migration patterns in Australian waters. So this was like hitting the jackpot for them too. All in all, it was quite an adventure for everyone involved. The crew got a story to tell for years to come. The authorities were pleased with the safe release of the shark. And the researchers got some valuable data. And the basking shark? Well, it got to go back to its big old sharky life, cruising the waters and doing its thing. Thresher Shark Fishing if you're looking for a shark with fierce personality, look no further than the Thresher Shark. With its unmistakable elongated tail, piercing eyes, small mouth, and impressive pectoral fins, this creature is unlike anything else in the ocean. While these sharks are summer visitors to UK waters, they tend to stick around in the south and southwest from June to October. And while they may not be the most common catch for rod or line fishermen, they are undoubtedly the most enigmatic. Thresher sharks come in all shapes and sizes, some are caught using mackerel feathers, while others are true monsters weighing in at over 400 pounds. These colossal threshers are the ultimate big game fish for UK anglers, but landing one takes patience and dedication. It's not uncommon for anglers to have a few blank days before they finally hook on one of these elusive creatures, but the fight is well worth it. Thresher sharks are notorious for their tenacity and strength. They're one of the hardest fighting fish you'll ever encounter in the UK, and catching one is a true badge of honor for any angler. These sharks can be spotted leaping out of the water along the entire stretch of the south coast, from West Wales to the Thames estuary. Big Mako Shark 
Ahoy mateys, if you're looking for a thrilling adventure on the high seas, mako fishing in Australia is just the thing for you. These sharks are fast and agile, making them a highly sought after catch among game fishermen. From September to May, the waters around Sydney to Newcastle are teeming with these sleek predators, providing an exciting challenge for experienced anglers. When it comes to mako fishing, live or dead bait is the go-to method for trolling these speedy sharks. And if you're feeling adventurous, try using large poppers or bibbed minnows as lures. You might just land the catch of a lifetime, but beware, mako sharks are known for their aggressive fighting style. So make sure you have the right gear and plenty of endurance to handle their acrobatic displays. As you battle these mighty predators, you will feel your heart racing as the sharks leap from the water in an attempt to free themselves from the hook. These impressive predators can reach up to 12 feet in length, but remember, sustainable fishing practices are key to preserving these magnificent creatures for future generations. Always practice catch and release methods and use circle hooks to minimize damage to the shark. And be sure to comply with the state and federal regulations regarding bag and size limits. Let's keep these amazing creatures swimming in our waters for years to come. Tuna Explosion CB1 Zorro 200 if you're an angler looking for a challenge, then catching red tuna in Italy should definitely be on your bucket list. These fish are the stuff of legend, weighing in at up to 1,500 pounds and measuring up to 15 feet long. They're some of the most prized fish in the world, not only for their size, but also for their delicious flavor. But don't think you can just go out and catch red tuna without a fight. These fish are known for their strength and endurance, making them a formidable opponent for even the most experienced anglers. And with concerns about overfishing and environmental impact, sustainable fishing practices are becoming more important than ever. That being said, don't let the regulations and restrictions scare you off. Catching red tuna in Italy is still a thrilling experience that you won't soon forget. Imagine feeling the tug on your line and the adrenaline pumping through your veins as you reel in a giant fish that's bigger than you are. Big Tuna Fish Check out this gargantuan fish! These magnificent fish are known for their incredible size and strength, as well as their delicious taste. Bluefin tuna can grow up to 1,500 pounds and over 15 feet in length, making them a true giant of the ocean. To catch one of these magnificent creatures, anglers must be skilled and patient using the right equipment and techniques to lure the tuna to their bait. Once hooked, a bluefin tuna will put up a fierce fight using its massive size and strength to try and break free. Anglers must be prepared for a long and intense battle with the fight lasting for hours in some cases. It's not uncommon for anglers to have to chase after the tuna in their boats, working together to bring the fish closer to the surface where it can be landed. Giant Fish Ready for a burst of adrenaline? Brace yourself for the ultimate fishing challenge, handlining a grouper fish. This isn't your ordinary fishing expedition. It's a hard-pounding, nerve-wracking adventure that will have you on the edge of your seat. It's a challenge that only true anglers can handle. To start this wild ride, you need to understand the grouper's behavior and patterns. These fish can stay in one spot for a long time, so you need to locate the best place to catch them. You also need to have the right bait to lure them in. Once you have everything set, the waiting game begins. You'll need patience and a keen eye to detect the moment when the grouper takes the bait. When it happens, you must act fast and set the hook with precision. Then the real action begins. Get ready for an epic battle between you and the grouper fish. These fish are known for their strength and determination, and they won't go down without a fight. You must hold tight to the line and use your bare hands to reel in the fish, keeping it from breaking away. This is a test of strength, endurance, and willpower that only the most daring anglers can handle. Yellowfin Tuna Fish Catching Get ready to reel in some serious cash with yellowfin tuna. These prized fish are a top choice for seafood lovers and high-end chefs, fetching premium prices in markets around the world. But catching yellowfin tuna isn't child's play. It takes skill and experience to haul in these elusive creatures. Fishermen use a range of techniques, including trolling, bait fishing, and chunking to catch these powerful swimmers. Once a yellowfin tuna is hooked, the race is on to get it iced and stored to maintain its freshness and quality. 
At the wholesale level, the price of yellowfin tuna can range from $5 to $20 per pound, depending on market conditions. But the real money is in selling fresh, sashimi-grade tuna that has been caught using sustainable fishing practices. At the retail level, prices can soar to $40 per pound or more. For those who are willing to take a gamble, catching and selling yellowfin tuna can be a lucrative business. In 2019, a record-breaking 612-pound yellowfin tuna was sold for an astounding $3.1 million at a Tokyo fish market. The buyer? None other than Kiyoshi Kimura, the owner of a top-notch sushi chain in Japan who has a reputation for paying top dollar for the highest quality tuna. So, if you're ready to dive in and reel in some serious profits, yellowfin tuna might just be the catch for you. 300-pound monster. If you're an angler looking for the ultimate challenge, then you can add catching an arapaima in Guyana to your bucket list. The fish is a true beast and one of the largest freshwater species in the world. In fact, arapaima can grow up to a whopping 9 feet in length and weigh over 400 pounds. That's right, you could be in for the fight of your life. But don't let the size of these fish intimidate you. While arapaima may be elusive with a little patience and perseverance, you could reel in the catch of a lifetime. And let's be honest, who doesn't love a good challenge? The best time to go after arapaima is during the dry season, which runs from February to August. During this time, the water levels are low and the fish are concentrated in the remaining pools of water. This makes it easier to find them and hopefully hook one. But make no mistake, catching an arapaima is not for the faint of heart. You'll need some heavy-duty equipment to handle the fight of your life. And once you've hooked an arapaima, be prepared for an intense battle that could last for several hours. These fish are known for their explosive strikes and incredible strength, which means they'll put up a fight like no other. They'll jump out of the water, and they'll use their massive body weight to try to break free, and do everything they can to evade capture. But with a little skill and determination, you could come out on top and have an epic tale to tell for years to come. So, are you up to the challenge? Catch a shark. A Houston man recently witnessed something that left him completely flabbergasted. While he was hanging out at a fishing pier in Port Aransas on a sunny day in July, Christopher Smith, a seasoned angler who loves to document his catches on YouTube, snapped a photo of a group of fellow anglers who had managed to reel in a shark from the depths of the ocean and haul it onto the Keeper's Port Aransas fishing pier. I'm telling you folks, this was the craziest thing I've ever seen on a fishing pier, Smith exclaimed, still in disbelief. I couldn't believe my eyes, it was like something straight out of a Jaws movie. Smith knew that he had to share this unbelievable story with the world, so he posted the photo in a popular fishing Facebook group, where it quickly went viral with over 140 shares and hundreds of comments from people who were both amazed and skeptical. However, Smith stood by his story, insisting that he had been there and seen it all with his own two eyes. Anglers are allowed to catch one shark per day, with a two-shark possession limit. And there are roughly 40 shark species that call Texas waters home, including the Atlantic sharp-nosed shark, black-tip shark, bonnethead shark, bull shark, and spinner shark. So, if you ever find yourself fishing in Texas and happen to reel in a shark, just remember to be safe and responsible, and maybe snap a photo to prove it to the skeptics. Fishing can be a wild ride, but it sure is rewarding. So, what's the craziest fishing moment you've ever experienced? You can let us know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can also hit subscribe for more awesome content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.